Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to No Man's Land and welcome to the stream. Hope everyone is well. Hope you all had a uh, nice Easter for those that um, obviously celebrate the holiday. And for those that don't, hope you had a, uh, a good, good weekend and having a good week so far. So apologies, there was no stream over the, um, the weekend. The server was just playing up and I couldn't get on there to access the save game. So every time I went on to try and get the save game so we could just set up a normal multiplayer game, it was daring and I couldn't access the uh, admin hub to get this save game. But I did manage to get it on Monday. So we're not actually on the server now. I've just set up a standard multiplayer game. And um, we do have Stevie joining us again. How are you, Stevie? Yeah, I'm not too bad now, not too bad, a bit, bit sick from all the chocolate I ate, I ate last weekend now, but uh, sure look, it's only one, once a year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've got I've got enough to last me probably another week or so, I'll be slowly working my way through it. Oh, you can times that by, by two here, I know, we went to my uh, little niece's, uh, my little nephew's birthday party and there was just Easter eggs everywhere and everywhere and we, we brought three and four home as well. <laughs> Never to old for Easter eggs. Oh right. God, no! Right, so we are. What we're going to do? We're going to get straight on with the uh, sowing the barley. Or you've got something yep. else you want us to do first? No, no, we, we no. I know. We we'll start. We we'll start with that, and sure, we we'll, we we'll go. We we'll go from there. Then we we'll get that done, and we can uh, maybe even make a few more silage bales or something. Because other than that, we kind of have kind of forestry and that kind of stuff to do with. Yeah, so. no worries. So we'll jump in the tractor and we'll get the uh, seed drill hooked up. We'll do that. So you can see we've got in the chat. So we've got Davis Davis farming saying, "Hey, you okay? Hey to you." And lots of messages from you. <laughs> Talking to yourself for a while there. And Maria saying hello. Hey to you. Nathan Agri Two Thousand Farm saying hi. Uh, Boss Two saying so. Hey to you. Uh, Fanatic Farm saying hey Sim. Hey to you. Uh, A. Dixon saying hi, hi to you as well. Uh, A. Dixon saying oh, I'm sick, oh, shame to hear that. I uh, hope you uh, get better soon and hope it's nothing too serious. I believe this is my seed drill in the yeah, shed. Yeah, it is. So I'll just set their region chat. Yeah, I left mine over here. Uh, don't know if we'll have enough seed in here. I'll get rid of that seed refill point to try something different. Just try it once more, see if we can get it to work. Doesn't look like it. Uh, Farm Simulator 22 guys saying hi, hey to you. Uh, Davis Farm saying hi to you, Stevie. Hello. Uh, Captain Arrow saying hello, my friend, hey to you. Good to see you in the chat again, hope you're well. Uh, BRS Oscar Racing saying I subscribe to the channel. Well, thank you very much for subscribing, and I hope you enjoy the content. Right, I'm going to get rid of this one. And we'll try the one from Alien Gym, see if we can get that one to work. That's quite big as well. Uh, where to put this? I'll put it over here for now. I no idea if this will work, uh, whether it's the seed drill that's not quite working or whether it's just that single point so I'll try this one if not I've just wasted 10 grand so yeah the uh, the server is still currently um, offline when I checked before I came on so we just gave up with that and uh, also with the 1.4 update causing quite a lot of issues as well oh there we go this one works um, yeah, I just decided it's best to just leave the server completely for now. And I did manage to get this uh, 
working by removing one mod. So I had to remove the maintenance and repair cost mod um, and then I was able to get on here. Which field are you doing, Stevie? Uh, I'm not going to any field yet. I'm at the store here looking no. to get a bag of seed, but it didn't show up. <laughs> it didn't show up? No, have I... Did you give me permissions? Oh, no, it's because... You, um, it's because it's not on the server, is it? I need to add you, uh... That's probably why. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I, I have put a seed refill point by the silos now that does work with these seed draws. And I'll, I've gone up to the top field, so the one at top of 25, let's start with that one. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, so the 1.4 update, uh, I managed to get my No Man's Land time lapse save game working. Um, again, I had to remove the maintenance and repair cost mod, um, but then it loaded up fine. Still a few slight issues, uh, errors, but nothing serious. Um, so, yeah, I've been able to get a couple of episodes recorded without having to roll back to the 1.31, but hopefully, they'll get the issues fixed soon. And my Calmston Farm save game will not load at all. Uh, yesterday afternoon I finished my time lapse video and I thought I'd jump on Calms and get an episode recorded on there as I haven't done one for a while and I could not get the save game to load whatsoever. Even disabling every single mod the save game would still not load so uh, unfortunately it was a no go for Calmston. Uh, hopefully I say the Giants get the hot fix out it's pretty soon uh, and then I can get back to Calms and Farm as well and hopefully at some point add pre precision farming to it as well um, but that'll probably be after I've finished the harvest because I don't want to mess up the current fields with the yields and stuff uh, Storm calls in the chat saying you got precision farming on there no not on the no man's land I've tried it and it wouldn't load so I've left that off now uh, but I do want to try and put it on at some point. Um, but if I can't get it to work with No Man's Land, I may just leave it um, off No Man's Land and then just do it on the new series. Uh, but I do want to try uh, precision farming. So yeah, hopefully we can get it working. Uh, Maria saying, Sim, have you had a problem with the sugarcane planter? Like when I tried to plant on the slope, it started turning bright all the time. I was wondering if you've got this problem. I've never planted, harvested, or done anything with sugarcane on any version of the game. So 17, 19, or 22 so far, I've never ever done any sugarcane whatsoever. So no idea. It may be, um, if you've got any of like the the realism mods that add like different weights to implements and um, change how the traction on tyres work. If you've got any of those mods, it may be that they're causing a few problems with it. Uh, try disabling those if you've got any of those mods enabled. Um, but other than that, I've no idea. So sugar, sugar canes, one thing I definitely will be doing on 22, but it's something I've not done yet. Um, I opto1232 saying hello, hey to you. Uh, Dave's farm, so I've got the new Case Optimus AFS Connect 2002, nice. Uh, Captain Arrow saying on Fine Fangs just finished making a wood cell mod point, nice. Uh, Clayton's gamer saying hi, Sim Farmer and Stevie. Uh, Clayton was really busy on Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Yeah, I, I didn't stream on those days anyway, so he didn't miss anything. 
Well, uh, good to see you in the chat again, and I hope you're doing well. Yeah, I can imagine you're tired as you're working a long weekend. Joanna Smaller saying good evening, Sim, Stevie, and all. Good evening to you. Uh, Birch, let's say, John said the hot, hot fix will get released. Yeah, hopefully it'll be um, sooner rather than later for the hot fix. Because I know there's quite a few people having various different issues with different mods. So unfortunately for me, it was just that one script mod that was preventing the game loading. Um, all my other ones seem to work okay. Uh, but I've seen people have various issues with mods that are working okay for me on their save game. So I can only assume it's a lot of different mods making various different conflicts of each other that didn't do before. It is frustrating though, especially when you're really in the mood to jump on and play like I was yesterday for comms and I thought oh. really wanted to get back to it and then I just, so after an hour and a half going through disabling mods, not being able to get it well, I just gave up in the end. Uh, you understand Ox and David announced that Calms and 1.2 will have precision farming. Uh, let's see when he can publish the update. Yeah, I think he's hoping to get it to Giants within the next week or so. Um, it was also include a new crop type, but that will require a brand new save game. Um, but it does, yeah, have a custom soil map for uh, precision farming. Uh, but precision farming should work. Anyway, if you don't do the updated version on the de a default soil map, uh, same as in 19. But if I can't get comms in to work, even after the hot fix, if it's still playing up, I may just hold on until the 1.2 update and then try and transfer over as much stuff as I can. Uh, that way then I can at least access the new crop type. Ah, Davis Farman saying he just changed his name. Kind of makes sense now. No worries. Uh, Boss 2 saying yeah, can't lo load up my save game. The yeah, best thing to do if you're struggling is disable every single mod. So when you start up, uh, select deselect all and see if it loads. If it still doesn't load with no mods on there, then there's obviously something probably similar to what I've got on Calms done that's causing a problem. Uh, but if it does load up with no mods, then you can go back and then just disable a bunch of mods at a time going for the obvious ones which are the script mods until it does load and then you kind of know narrow it down up to which ones are causing the problem it takes a bit of time as well especially if you've got a lot of, a lot of mods enabled I always try my best to limit the amount of mods I've got enabled to stuff I'm actually using or potentially will be looking to use in an episode or two's time. Just that way then if there are any issues with conflicts then it, you haven't got as many mods to go through to try and find it. Uh, Rufus Farmer Life saying hi and Heavy Deluxe 25 saying hi from Wisconsin. Hey to you too. Hope you're both well. Uh, Swamp Six saying loving it. No worries. I'm glad you're glad you're enjoying it. Oops. 
Yeah, as you were saying, new save will be a bit easier. On 230 hours on comms and on PS4. Luckily, no script problems with uh, patch 1.4 yet. Uh, Mike's uh, the Austrian. Thank you very much for the subscription, and I hope you enjoy the content. Yeah, uh, I'll, luckily I'm not that far into the comms and one, so a new save game for me won't be that bad. But yeah, if you've got that many errors in, especially on consoles as well, where you can't transfer stuff over on your XML files like you can on PC, then if it was me, I'd rather be like not bother or just start on a completely new map. Hello Bello saying, hey Sim, if you ever have time can you update your mod list? Uh, yeah, I'll try and get that sorted soon. Um, I was hoping to try and get it done over the last weekend but uh, as long uh, with the new save game but things didn't go to plan. It was like an extremely busy weekend. but I will try and get it done as soon as possible. How are you understand? Sorry I have to leave. I've well, came back in dim time. No worries. Uh, hope you enjoy your dinner. Hope you got something nice as well. Alex saying hi, hey to you. Uh, Clayton saying I'm really tired, busy week because I'm responsible for some three days of running around our kitties in the light. Felt like two weeks in the gym. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, Alright, so next field is the bottom of 35, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Alright, just before we head down there. Uh, Klein's Crocodile saying hi, hey to you. So we'll head down to get this next field done, and that's all our sewing done for this year. We need to sort out this road. So, for those that didn't catch the last stream, I think it was last Thursday, was it? I think. Yeah, last Thursday, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we finished off the harvesting, didn't we, to start with? Yeah, well, I think we, yeah, we finished off the harvesting, uh, we made silage bales, we ploughed a new field, yeah, that was um, and oh, we built the spinnery, yeah, and then the we were half, we're, yeah, we're half through the last field sown it, and, uh, the server kind of crapped itself. Yeah, we was just just finishing off the last field so we need the canola and then the uh, server froze up and uh, we, di we didn't get to finish that. Stevie came on and finished that off. Where was that Saturday you managed to do that? Uh, yeah, I th yeah, I think it was Saturday. Yeah, I was on. I think I was on Friday as well, and I kept having issues where every 
every 10 minutes you could time it every 10 minutes the, the it would just freeze up and you'd have to leave the game uh, uh, Stone Cold saying hey would love to stay good longer but gotta go no worries thanks for stopping by say hi uh, Boss 2 also saying gotta go bye no worries uh, uh, Celtic saying love your videos uh, keep on the good work no worries glad you enjoy Davis Farms and I have the, Liz the Lizard Santana 88 AK Land Rover. Got the cartridge pail wash which makes the vehicle dirty and really like my Land Rover dirty. Is that what that new pail washer that came out today makes things dirty <laughs> rather than clean them? Yeah, it's it's called the, the Dirtinator or something like that. I saw it but I didn't like, pay attention to exactly what it was. I don't really understand what the, what the point of it really is. Just driving a field for a few minutes and you're already dirty. Yeah. Oh, so if you're on PC, you, you can just use the. Uh, oh. I was going to say use the command to make a dirty work on what it is. <laughs> uh, try, try and remember what it is now. There's a command where you can add where, degrade the paint and make it dirty or clean. That's what I did to all the vehicles on the, the Starter Calms and Farm series. I made everything dirty via the console command, added some operating errors onto them, um, added some wear and tear on. Scott George saying howdy everyone, hey to you. I bet you use that mod where um, your equipment doesn't get cleaned when it rains, so it stays permanently dirty. I was quite surprised to see some mods released today actually with um, the issues that the update has been causing. I thought they may have held off releasing any more mods until that was sorted. I was quite surprised though earlier when I came across there's now a pallet limit on PC. Uh, which I was quite quite shocked about. Coming to move some more some of the pallets from the oil mill on the save game, and then uh, no new ones would spawn. Now eventually worked out you got that message that comes up saying no space for pallets. I was like, okay, I'm sure that's not should be something that's on PC surely. So I don't know if that's something that they've. It's meant just for console only update and they've got it into the PC update or whether that's um, a restriction they've put on PC as well uh, due to the cross-play capabilities. I'm not sure on that one but it was a little bit annoying that I had to go and sell loads of pallets to get the rest of them to spawn out of the, uh, the buildings. Uh, these two fields are put in barley in. So we're doing our crop rotation of canola to barley. So these ones had canola in last time, these two that we put canola in had barley in. And then what we'll do is just alternate from those. The main reason for that is because that's a good time once you've harvested your canola and your barley's harvested, you're pretty much at the right time to then replant those two crops. So going to make sense just to swap over those fields even though in game crop rotation at the moment doesn't matter I presume with precision farming it uh, will make a big difference crop rotation now uh, but I always try and like to uh, rotate things anyway uh, Scott George I don't normally use precision farming so I'll just dial back to 1.31 
Yeah, if you're having a lot of issues, yeah, you, you're better off just going back to 1.31 if you can. I decided to stick with 1.4. I just removed the mods that are causing any issues at the moment. Uh, Davis Farm, I'm going to watch Emma Dale be back soon, no worries. I haven't seen Emma Dale for years. Swamp so 6, I love your streams and videos, thank you. Missed a bit again. annoying isn't it a tiny, tiny 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 little strip we're gonna to have to come back go over and do so that's a that bit done we've got a tiny little strip down there we'll just tidy up and we'll go over to the other side of the film um, no, not doing open multiplayer lobbies at the moment. Um, my community server, I, w I did think about doing a um, Sunday afternoon, uh, just putting up a multiplayer game for people to come on. <laughs> and then I, so I was having the same issues with the community server, trying to get that loaded as with the other server. So until Nitrado fix the issues, I'm just going to hold off with the servers. I'm not sure you pronounce your name, is that Zai or Sai? Uh, saying hello from Canada. Apologies, I just have butchered your name. It's a Z, Zai, Sai. Uh, hello to you, anyone, welcome to the stream. I do plan to do some multiplayer stuff. Um, it's just finding the time at the moment, I'm really, really busy with all the stuff finding the spare time to sit down and get a game set up and that is uh, very difficult at the moment. Once we finish this, we'll just check on the animals and everything. Yeah, you know, make sure there's uh, nothing they need, and then we'll can see what else we can do. So the other fields we'll leave till next year. And um, we'll get some different crops in those. Probably some sorghum, maybe some oats again. I uh, do also want to try and get a uh, planter. Uh, so we can start doing some corn and maybe sunflowers and some other stuff like that. So start getting some different crops in. Uh, one thing I do also want to try and do at some point, maybe this stream, maybe not, if we can get enough money is get the uh, tailor shop. So we'll start having a decent amount of fabric being produced soon for that. Just 
give this a quick wash off as we finish with this now until next year. Broken Mac saying, hey, I'm from Kenya and it's 10 p.m. Oh, welcome to the stream. Uh, Fonta saying, yeah, catch the live stream. I'm saying good evening, everyone. Good evening to you. Good to see you in the chat. Hope you're doing well. And um, Rock saying, hi, Sim. Hey to you. Like Z and I now did first. We just started a new login style map myself. Very much enjoy the time that, so I'll thank you for that. my uh, entering vehicles occasionally stops working a little bit frustrating still having that same problem sometimes where you get the chainsaw and you can't cut a log if you get the chainsaw out when you're um, looking at the log seems to have the same problem with the pressure washer as well if you're looking at the tractor when you click on the pressure washer with the Xbox controller the pressure washer then doesn't work and the same thing sometimes with the vehicle, if you're looking at the vehicle directly when you press X to get in, it doesn't get in the vehicle. Yeah, I've, I do have the same issues as well. Um, I'd be wondering, is it down to the um, Lumberjack mod if you have um, the Super Strength turned on? I think that could be it. Um, possibly, I don't know. Um, I find the Lumberjack mod I really dislike the super strength on it. I just drives me mad because sometimes on the Xbox controller when you go into menus it activates the super strength. I don't know why. So sometimes yeah, I, I find I find sometimes literally you go to get into your tractor and all it's doing is it's grabbing your tractor yeah. trying to lift it and throw it. <laughs> yeah mine does that. It's sometimes it does it if you've got super strength on you go in and it flings the tractor. Not all the time it's not doing it now. Well, yeah, I'll go to get in and that happens. <laughs> it like flings the tractor because I'm using the same button for throw object as enter vehicle on the Xbox controller. And now I can't get in it again. There we go. Uh, just a little bit frustrating. Alright, so. Uh, we've got that. New field, we could get some lime on, even though we're not going to plant that till next year, so that's not desperate. Cows, still got quite a lot of feed, even though it doesn't look like it, this feed trough is absolutely huge. <laughs> so even though it's in the red, there's still got quite a lot of feed in there. Uh, so they should be fine. Uh, sheep, we'll give them a bale of hay. Uh, chickens will be fine for a little bit. So I'll give the sheep some hay. I'll keep them going for a bit. Uh, Clayton saying, hey Sim Farmer, you inspired me and my friend to become a YouTuber and maybe other people. Uh, it's good to hear people have been inspired by what I do. Just uh, I was inspired by other YouTubers when I first started YouTube way back in when 2015 I think I first started my channel and that was because I'd seen other people do stuff and I thought hey you know what I'll give it a go although back then I had no clue what I was doing. You know, really dodgy shaky cam videos. I'm Earth Hunter saying I remember since two years and eight months. Wow, well, nice one. I didn't realise I'd had members that long. <laughs> Well, uh, I appreciate your uh, extended support and uh, your long, long time support as well. 
Uh, Oxy DNA, hello soon. Do you plan on getting precision farming? I do if I can get it working. Um, I'll probably wait until the the fix for the um, 1.4 update and then see if I can uh, load it into the No Man's Land save game. If it still won't load, then I'm going to leave it off and just use it on a new uh, new series, which I'll hopefully be starting quite soon. Uh, so maybe next week a new series will be on a new map. I'll just tidy up this little bit of uh, grass where we have that other refill point. Our new refill point doesn't have um, fertilizer. Oh uh, yeah, it's just seed and lime, I think it is. Seed yes, lime. Yeah, seed, seed and lime, yeah. Uh, seed lime and herbicide. Uh, I also want to Oops, wrong keyboard control. I'll, I'll put the uh, fertilizer one down next year if I can. Space to fit in next to those bales. Let's see. Fertilizer, that one. Like we should have some more concrete texture around these. Oh, they look like they're in grass. Have you noticed as well, Sim, that uh, when you chop straw and stuff from canola and soybeans and all that stuff now, it gives you a layer of fertilizer as well? Uh, I don't know if that's because I got the chop straw mod enabled. Or is that... I don't know if, it, if that's enabled on it. I, I don't think it is. Uh, I have no idea to be honest. I know I've got it on my No Man's Land time lapse save game, but I don't know if I've put it on here. Uh, well Steve is doing fertilising. Let's just check. Oh, I'm just lost in my own thoughts. What I'm doing then? Um. Dragon Sin 1979 saying, Hey Mr. Sin Farmer, how's it going? Very well, thank you. Hope you are well too. Sin, where did you get that green and brick shed? It is um, the one from Lancer Boy. Um, I think it's the British Shed Pack. So there's three sheds, I think, or. Yeah, so it's these ones, the Lawn Barn vehicle barn and large barn they're from Lancer boy they're on the mod hub um, under the sheds category I think you should find them and I'm sure it, I, I don't know if it's a British barn pack or English barn pack or something like that uh, but they are on the in-game mod hub so 
ones there. There's three different ones in there in total. Uh, but all, I think everything we've got on this server, I think is off the mod, in-game mod hub. Other than, I think the only thing we might not have is a script mod. Um, Oscar Game saying, very good live bro, thank you. Uh, Blue Buzzard saying, hey everyone, hey to you. Uh, JG Game saying, hello Sim. Sim 23. I'm now an old person. Uh, well, happy birthday for the other day. Uh, yeah, Blaze, happy birthday to you. Hope you had a great day. Um, Earth Hunter saying, damn. Is it a German map? No. Um, I was doing Elk Mountain the last few weeks. Uh, I'm looking at the Elk Mountain map. Um, and I kind of like. I really like it, but it's because of that kind of thing with a 4x map being on my own. I'm just thinking, is it just going to be a lot of work for each video? Uh, I, and I'm going to then end up struggling to get videos out because I am not going to have the time to get episodes done. Okay. Well, what I wanted to actually look at was to actually lost what I'm actually doing. I just check the price on uh I've got quite a few pallets of lettuce which you know, January is the best price for those. Current price is 162 uh, still a bit off for those as well. Uh, planks aren't too bad. Let's see Let's see how many planks we've got. Oh, 10,000. Well, we're going to load up those. The storage is going to be full soon. Yeah, I looked at Elk Mountain and it looks a nice map. And I, I, w I was going to start on it and then I saw there was going to be an update that requires a new save game. And I kind of like put off for that and then I'm like now at the point where I think I don't know if it'll just be too much for me to do at the moment. So I found another map I like the look of, which is only a standard size map. So it is a uh, predominantly forest forestry map. There's a couple of small fields on it, uh, but mostly it's a forestry. Uh, so it'll be similar to obviously Grizzly Mountain, Wilhelmina Forest. I'm trying to think what the other one was. Crater Lake, but there's uh, some more roads and cell points dotted around the map rather than just heavily forest. And so hopefully I can get an episode on next week, but I don't know yet. Oh, as in the past before, I've recorded one or two episodes on new series and then never actually published the videos because I've just not quite like how it started or after a couple of recording a couple of episodes I just felt like it's not quite the right map to do what I want to do on it. JJ Gamer, what did you do to that map where you had to, where you had the pickup and the John Deere and you were doing contract with the John Deere? Oh, the old stream farm. Yeah, I kind of had a little break from it, uh, not intentionally at the time, and then I kind of got a little bit frustrated with FS22 in general at the time. Oh, I just wasn't really feeling that map. I decided not to go back to it. Um, it's one of those things at the time I was like, 
I wasn't really looking to start a new map, but I was getting a little bit frustrated with S22, so I started a new series when I really didn't want to. And so I came really frustrated with just the game. So I kind of had a break from that and just focused on No Man's Land. Uh, kind of, yeah, just never got a feeling to go back to it, so. Because there was only three episodes in, I thought I'd just leave it. I want to start a new series. Yeah, the old stream farm is a serious, serious grind. Like I've, I've done, I did a full year of just contracts first, and I was getting nowhere. And literally, what I did then is I added like a loan system in my series, where literally like a one-time loan, but have to pay fifteen thousand back a month. And but like that has literally just transformed how I can play now. It's just yeah. way, way better. That's so why I'm finding with FS22, I find it, it is a real grind. And it kind of takes all the fun away from it and I've just not, not been enjoying it as much as I have been in previous games. Yes, yeah, it's, it's literally, FS22 isn't set up for, like in, like in 19 where you could just start with nothing and just, just do contracts, contracts, contracts. Like it's it's extremely hard now to make any money, even with um, even with forestry. You you can't you can't make money with forestry anymore. So no. that's the main aspect taken gone over. Yeah, especially at the start of the game. Now there's more mods coming out that are like cheaper to buy, like tractors and stuff. It's not so bad. But when you first start the game, like it's one of the reasons when 22 first came out, I started on. Uh, uh, the new farmer mode where you've got equipment simply because of the fact of knowing all the base game equipment is so expensive if you was to start one of the base game maps with just base game stuff with no no money whatsoever for a line on contracts you'd be in for a hell of a grind before you could buy a decent area of land and equipment to actually do anything with it and even with starting with all the equipment I was finding it was a struggle to get anywhere on the base game maps Seems like you've got to put a hell of a lot of time into actually progress. Which to me just seems like there's a little bit too much grind in 22. Abraham saying hello everyone, hello beautiful people, hey to you. Uh, Chris is saying they need maps with different geos, uh, double cropping would help with the grind, yeah. Um, I'm surprised nobody's been able to like bring out a custom geo mod, but I'm presuming the way they've got the, um, the seasons set up in the base game it's obviously not as easy to do as it was for a uh, seasons mod in 19. I think um, Oxygen David is or will be adding a custom geo to um, the update for Carmsden Farm. So maybe it's just a map thing. Um, maybe we'll see more mod modders then do it for their maps where they'll be able to add different crop rotation systems. Uh, different weather patterns as well, more suited to the area of the map rather than the generic one they've got in the base game. No F1 to don't get me started on stone picking. <laughs> stone picking, what's that? I tried it. Nope, not for me. Imagine if I still had stone picking on my no man's land time lapse now. Every every so many episodes, it would just be one entire episode of me picking stones from fields. <laughs> Bad enough now with all the pallets. 
Just driving around, even with the auto load trailer, driving around, it can take like 40 minutes just to load up all the pallets and take them to sell. I'm at the point now with my No, no Man's Land time-lapse series where I'm going to start switching things to automatic sell. Especially probably the sawmill because it just produces so many planks. It's worth taking the furniture. What's the uh, three, four? What's the best price? Three. It's not too bad. It's just going down, so it's not the highest it could be, but it's not far off. So I might as well take these three pallets while we're here. Let's give us a little bit of extra money. Cast Unsane, Chris says you can double crop with most fruit types as you consider seeding grass over winter. Yeah, I suppose if you want to do a lot of grass you could sow grass as soon as you've harvested a crop. Cut the grass over uh, over winter when it's ready, and then or late autumn, and then re-sow when they're uh, you're in the window for the next crops. It's probably one of the best ways to make money with your fields, just do silage. <laughs> Not good for videos though, because I've been constantly doing silage every every other video. <laughs> uh, I can't drop the weight off because we didn't bring that over here. Let me just have a quick look. Where do we own up to? Just there. I did change the um, spinnery around a little bit from last time. Uh, when I reloaded re into this, we had double fence across here. So I'd remove the one fence, uh, but it was actually still there, but you could visually couldn't see it. So I decided to make it a little bit easier to access. So just extended this side a little bit so you've got to loop around. So you can just drive all around, drop the pallets off, and then drive out rather than having to try and turn in this small area. And then just change the front a little bit. I did a couple of patches of grass either side and a couple of uh, street lights. So what I was thinking is possibly whether to add that other cell point because it's only a thousand. It's going to be difficult to get access into it. Let's bring it right over. Just so we've got a different place for uh, more variation on prices as well. So this may give us a slightly better price. Because at the moment we've only got that one sell point. So there's no competition for prices. Uh, I think if we put that there, yeah, that should give us enough room to uh, drive in and out from the side. as well. Oh, two 
much. Extend this road a little bit first. Let's see where we're going. I'll put some different texture in front of it so it doesn't look like it's all just the road going in. That annoying thing where the uh, paint paint tool never does what you want it to do. Oh, All right, not perfect, but it'll do for now. See, see if that's actually a better price. Oh, just a, just a little bit. So we'll take it there. Uh, DC is saying that the new sawmill released on mod up today seems interesting. It produces beams, planks, wood, chips, and bark mulch. Yeah, I did see that. Um, it's another one of those mods. I thought I'll hold off until the uh, the 1.4 update is uh, fixed before having a look at it, so it might be uh, worth having a look at. And seeing what it's like compared to the base game, like a sawmill. Um. Uh, Dave's farm saying, hello, I've finished Emmendale, having a dinner and be right back, won't take too long, no worries. Pretty sure I forgot to put the uh, what did I decoration mods on. Oh, I got a few. Let's put some of these at the front. table was it in the middle oh, no, <laughs> sat on top of the table I'm trying to see then if disabled collisions where I could put that on the ground sticking up through the table no it sits on top so I should have put those a bit further over actually <laughs> A little bit too close to the road, I think. Alright, let's try that again. So no trouble doing it this road, I can't see where the actual painting is for the road. Uh, 
That's a bit better. I don't think I've got the barriers to put across here. Let's see if we can, uh, what fencing we've got. Maybe this one. Probably still put those a little bit too close to the road, actually. There we go. <laughs> put your umbr umbrella first on table. I, I don't know if it'll let me do that. Um, see if I can put the table over the umbrella. Oh, I can. Oh, good idea. Right. Uh, good idea. Thank you for that, uh, DC. Although, uh, I think it's still floating a little bit. Got to tell. Yeah, I think it was just right where I want it. it yeah, I think it's ever ever so slightly floating, but I think it will do. <laughs> As long as you don't look at it too close. Right, let's try and line this up somewhere. No, but look at it too close. <laughs> Nothing to see. It's for decoration purposes, meant to be viewed from about three miles away. There's no, um, it's the one thing that's a bit annoying about this map when you do the plants. There's no flowers like there is on the um, Elm Creek map. There's like loads of different plant textures on the Elm Creek map. I put some trees in, but they cost quite a bit of money. Maybe put one of those in. So I don't want to spend a huge amount on uh, decorating. <laughs> I'd get carried away, I'd probably spend hours and hours just adding detail in round buildings. Yeah, don't try and sit down. <laughs> Le levitating tables and chairs. I really, I, honestly, I could, I could probably spend a whole stream just messing around just with that one building <laughs> just adding different things and I'd probably be in and out on Mod Hub getting all the rest of the stuff enabled for all the different decorations and cars when you get, when you get carried away with the props on um, city skylines and before you know it you've en ended up spending three hours just adding decoration around like one bus depot
Right. So we're up to 52,000 now. Uh, Stevie's mowing grass. So it looks like we're doing some uh, doing some silage. Yes, indeed. Oh, I'll grab the baler. Can never have, an, have too much silage. Nope. I'll do is turn time down a little bit. We've got rain on the forecast, and it's already getting to 20 to 2 almost. No, you can't walk in the shop. I think it's just all um, like a solid building. I don't think there's many uh, buildings that you can actually go inside uh, that I've seen so far. Uh, have you tried the mod combine experience? Nope. Uh, you have to uh, let me know which one that is exactly. I'm not 100% sure. Right, let's see what I think I know which one it is, but I'm not 100% sure and I've, I've not tried it yet. Yeah, it's not not the fence I'd want to use. I'd, I'd rather use what I used on the uh, the No Man's Land time lapse series with the flower pots on the like little barriers, but I don't have them enabled. So I'll probably swap the fence out uh, for next time. I'll probably um. It, Ideally, take um, take some trees out from the back of it and move it back a little bit so there's a bit more space in front. And then, yeah, probably add a bit of strip of grass or something, but have a separate um, like walkway bit, then a strip of grass, then like the kind of shop area uh, would be a little bit better. I say oh, I could spend ages. I'd, Keep moving things around, changing things until I got it exactly right. Uh, Blue Buzzard, did you have a good Easter sim? Uh, it was okay, I'm quite busy though. I was took advantage of the nice weather um, on Good Friday because we was was in for um, heavy showers on Sunday and Monday, which never arrived. So I spent a good portion of Friday and Saturday doing as much in the garden as I could do, thinking I probably won't get time on Saturday, Sunday, um, Sunday, Monday. And then it didn't rain Sunday, Monday, so I ended up spending even more time in the garden. So really busy trying to get as much done as I could over the weekend. Um, did manage to get quite a lot done, which is a good thing. Uh, we've got a skip coming tomorrow, so this weekend I'm going to be busy again, getting rid of a lot of the rubbish we've got. Yeah, another busy weekend for me. I'm hoping the weather's going to be okay so I can actually uh, get out there and get it done. Uh, Blue Buzz saying, yeah, I did as well, got out, did the grass, and then did some planting. That oh, nice. Yeah, I got my grass. Um, Friday I got the uh, got the grass cut then went over it with the scarifier of an electric brake to pull out all the moss and uh, dead grass and stuff or the thatch and went over it with the mower again then got the top dressing on and then overseeded it with some uh, lawn seed give that a good watering in so the grass has all been done um, 
So I'm going to give that a couple of weeks now, hopefully the seed takes and uh, I'll be a, a bit better for it. Managed to level out quite a lot of the bumps and uh, the dips in it. Uh, yeah, got, got loads more planting done as well. But st it still seems like I've got so much more to do. Davis Farm saying I got a new tractor. Would you like to know what tractor I bought? I'm sure there's somebody who would like to know. Uh, the weather is meant to be okay. So I have no idea. I haven't checked yet. I'm hoping it is. I've still got um, a load of plants I bought from the garden centre the other week that I still need to get in the ground. Uh, I still need to clear the area where they need to go. So they're still in the little pots, which I need to try and get planted as soon as possible. But I did manage to get my next lot of potatoes planted. Uh, also the next lot of lettuce, uh, some cauliflower, carrots as well are planted as well over the weekend. That's what the weather woman told me this morning, Lord. Now, I'm still, still trying to clear the area at the top of the garden where the apple tree is going to go. But it's, I'm kind of in that position where I need to move all the excess soil from there into the new raised bed on the other side, which I need to finish first. get me apple tree planted. Uh, we gave up the carrots and got the grain for it. Lots of flint in it. Yeah, well, I've got, um, because I've got the raised veg trug, so all my veg is in the raised veg trug, which I've, um, I filled with, uh, a mix of topsoil, compost and farmyard manure. So yeah, it's got no big stones or rubbish in like that that will uh, stop carrots growing very well. So they're not very big carrots, the ones I've sown, because it's not. I'm trying to think how deep it is. I've, I've put them down the middle of it, which is the deepest part. Uh, but they're not the biggest of carrots, so they don't grow too big. Uh, so we'll see what they do. And these ones are supposed to be um, resistant to carrot fly. So we'll say so it's the first time growing any crops of like lettuce or veg for me. So. Just looking forward to see what actually comes out, what turns out well. Uh, John Deere, 4440, saying hi, hey to you. Oh, you never got eaten anyway. Yeah, that's the thing. Unless you're going to actually eat the stuff, there's a little point in growing it. But I've told I've told the wife she's got to cook it all. I'll, I'll do all the growing and tending, and she she can do all the cooking.
Uh, Davis Farming, I bought the new 2022 Case Optum AFS Connect, it's 300 horsepower, price was 227500 uh, it doesn't seem too bad for a 300 horsepower tractor to 275 uh, 22750 or 500 I should say seems a reasonable price for a horsepower that that much Oh, one thing I forgot to actually do. There we go. We'll see what time it was. So we've gone up to 10 to 9. I forgot that I wasn't uh, enabled. I think I switched it off for the uh, recording the time lapse series. So yeah, now you can see the local time at the top of the, the top of the screen. So it's just gone up to ten to nine. So we'll probably go to eleven again, uh, depending where we are, what to do. Uh, Bluebird saying my lettuce got eaten last year, so we we've, we've done more of that. I think some. We've got some garlic as well and some onions. Nice, I've got some red onions, beetroots, uh, salad leaves, got mixed salad leaves already growing. And some baby gem lettuce as well there. That's, I've got four of those already growing as well. They're coming on quite nicely. So also I've got some more in there to stagger when we can uh, harvest some of the stuff. Really wanted to try and do some sweet corn, oh well, corn on the cob, um, but just don't really have the space for it at the moment. Maybe next year. If I can con convince the wife to uh, let me dig up a part of the grass so I can get a veg bed. Eaten by humans, not slugs. <laughs> yeah, pesky slugs. Yeah, yeah slug, slugs tend to massacre my marigolds. But I'm hoping where I've got my uh, lettuce growing up in the veg thing. It, be a little bit more difficult for it for him to get to it. I hope anyway. No, no sign of any uh, slug damage so far. So fingers crossed it stays that way. Uh, James, does anyone know if Green Bell's making any maps for FS22? Um, personally, I have no idea. I've not seen anything from Green Bell. Uh, I don't have a greenhouse, I'd love a greenhouse, but I don't have one. I so say all I've got is a little veg truck, which has got a... Um, it's got a double cover on, so it's like a netting on the inside, and then on the outside it's like a plastic... Uh, PVC greenhouse type cover. Uh, but I don't have a proper greenhouse. I'd love one. I just don't know where I'd fit one in in my garden. Um, it's G. Have you built the tailor shop? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, we don't have, don't quite have the money for the tailor shop just yet. Uh, but we will be looking to get it as as soon as we do. Uh, we did just build a new sell point for. Um, to give us another option when we come to sell products and produce. Uh, no, I don't use slug pellets. Um, although I think um, most of the effective slug pellets have been banned in the UK now. 
as of uh, last week or the week before. I've tried um, some pet safe slug pellets in the past and they didn't seem to make any difference. So I kind of gave up with slug pellets last year. Like, um, hopefully at some point we'll encourage a, uh, a hedgehog into the garden that can eat them all for us. Yeah, I, I keep I keep saying to the wife the lawn's pointless. A lawn does nothing for the environment. It's nearly as bad as um, plastic grass. So if I had if I had my way, I'd I'd get rid of most of the lawn and just have a small a smaller lawn area, just that we can sit on, and then use the rest of it for actual growing stuff in. What I'm thinking of doing is, because we've got a grass slope between the two grass levels of um, the lawn, um, once all my tulip bulbs are finished that I've got in pots this year, I'm thinking of putting those on the grass bank. So next year we'll get all the tulips come through on the grass bank, which is an area where you can't really do much with because it's quite sloped. Uh, copper copper pennies deter them more. Yeah, copper tape and stuff like that. I've read about. I've not not tried. Everyone's saying, all right, I'm going to head to bed, have a wonderful the rest of the stream. Everyone, no worries. Thanks for stopping by again. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your week. Yeah, I've got tulips in um, uh, containers grown up um, in, on the steps at the moment. Uh, Bluebird said, "Yeah, I'm going for half an hour. Don't uh, so, so, so don't know if I'll be back. No worries. Well, thanks for stopping by. If you don't come back, uh, Scottish Wildcat saying small gardens are the best because they don't take as long to do the mowing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it takes me about half hour to completely cut the grass, which is not too bad. And that's going round with a strimmer as well first, and then uh, going over it with the mower." Uh, 12 hour shifts talk about enjoyment. I feel your pain there. Yeah, en enjoy your sleep. <laughs> Although I, it's been a long, long time since I did a 12 hour shift. Probably back 2013, it's the last time I did a 12 hour shift.
Uh, Trigger 98, I mow about seven acres, usually takes five, six hours long. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> my, 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 my garden's probably about 0.001 acre. <laughs> Uh, Farmer Groot saying hi Sim Farmer, hey to you. So I, I'd love a slightly bigger garden but I wouldn't like anything too big that it just become more or less a full time job to keep on top of it. I think my garden's a decent size it's just awkward that it's on multiple levels which means there's a lot of areas that aren't usable for much uh, if it was a bit flatter then you'd get a lot more use out of it yeah steve is still here somewhere yeah I'm spreading lime I'm spreading lime there you go. Spreading lime over on the new field. Yeah, we'll sell all the silage bales once they're ready. Uh, we got about 46 last time, was it? Uh, yeah, 46 last time. Yeah, so we've got 46 bales to sell from last time. Uh, Steve is very quiet. I have increased his volume quite a bit. So he should be a lot, lot louder than he used to be. We really need to put our finger out and uh, try and set it up on Discord or something. Yeah. I need, I, need, I need to get back onto Discord. I keep saying it and I never keep getting around to it. I need to get it installed on my phone as well. Makes it easier just to pop on every now and then. But my trouble is at the moment, I'm literally recording a, a video, editing it, setting it off to render, and that's it for me at the computer. I'm off doing other things. Trevor Nisley saying hi Sim Farm and hey Steve 4K Gaming, hey to you. Uh, Mogar saying I'm glad you played No Man's Land again. I love your FS19 series on it. Well thank you for that and I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, GG here saying uh, bomb. Uh, Berlin Cobalt 4 saying I have a 50 by 60 garden, it takes up a lot of time. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure how big my garden actually is. Never actually like, worked it out. So it's, it's not the biggest garden, which is not the smallest either. Now the most difficult thing in our garden is at the top of um, the garden. The property behind ours is at a higher level. Um, we've got laurel hedging that runs across and at the moment it must be at the highest point I've got to say probably about 25 foot high and from my side it's it's, it's so difficult for me to actually cut it down to reach the top I need, I need to trim like a good three, four foot off it. Um, the trouble is it's at the one one corner of the garden it's it's probably only about uh, eight or nine foot high and then because the way the garden drops down the levels into the other corner I try and keep the laurel level it's like I say at the moment it's probably about 25 foot high at the one corner. So I could do with taking a good three, four foot off it, um, all the way across. Try and 
try and get it a little bit more manageable. Um, Evil Gaming 2020 saying yo, hey to you. And I'm not sure you say name. Uh, no idea how you pronounce that. Uh, so I could call you PW <laughs> saying hello. Apologies, I have no idea how you pronounce your name. I'm not going to even attempt it because I'll probably absolutely butcher it. X5V2 saying, I think it would be cool if you did competitive multiplayer like Dagwin and Chainsaw. I'd, to be honest, I don't, I, I don't think I'd enjoy that myself. And trying to do something like that as well, getting the same time to sit there and record is always difficult. bit we've got, we've got a tiny little bit round there as well on these few lines and we'll, we'll get these collected up out of the way so we can get some fertiliser on this field to get it fully fertilised for the next cut well, I'll go and do this bit because I'll, if I don't do it now I'll forget it September now, these should be ready for December, I think. So that'll give us a uh, decent amount of money anyway. So the next main purchase I think will be the tailor shop and then after that we'll look at getting some new equipment so definitely we'll try and get some planters or at least one planter for next year uh, but we don't need to worry about that until March at the earliest because we can't actually do anything with it until then and think if there's anything else we desperately need what we do with I don't think there is other than a new tractor to replace Stevie's vent which costs a fortune to repair probably costs 120 grand a year doesn't it or 12 grand nearly every month yeah going by the last couple of streams all right about 10 and 12 thousand each each call Crazy. I was hoping they would have reduced that with the update, but it doesn't seem like they've changed it. Um, Henrik, I will be doing precision farming, um, possibly on no man's land once the update for 1.4, as well the hotfix for that has been released. If it loads on the save game, then I'll be giving it a go. Um, No, but I won't add it straight away. I'll probably add it once I've harvested every single field. So I'm not adding it to with crops already in the ground because last time I did that on 19, I, the first harvest on um, the fields that already had crops in the ground was awful. So I couldn't add the line that needed to be added or the nitrogen. It wouldn't let me add the nitrogen. And the, the yield on the fields was like down like 60%. So a bit reluctant to add it while I've got crops in the ground. So it'll be once every field's in a harvested state, then I'll look to add it if I can. Um, if if it still doesn't load with it enabled, then I'm not going to bother trying to get it to work. For no man's land, I'll leave it off and then I'll use it for the next series. I 
I'm presuming that's also a thing they've added in 1.4 is the uh, top left hand corner they've added that little shadow box behind the um, tractor icon although it doesn't seem quite big enough kind of like cuts out the top of the tractor I presume that's uh, from the update so I'd never noticed it before but it's one of those things you think was it always like that? You're right, that is new. Yeah, I thought it was, but it doesn't quite work. It looks like it's a little bit too small. At least on my screen, anyway. No, it's fine. It's fine on mine, anyway. It's like the top of the tractors. Kind of like just above the actual shadow box. Uh, Electro Farm saying, "Hey, Sim, broke my arm today at school. I'm running to an OST and having a pop on Friday. Well, speedy recovery. And uh, yeah, get well soon." Sounds uh, nasty. I hope your op goes well. Uh, Philip Anders, hey. No, we don't have precision farming on here. I've not even bothered trying to enable it um, on here yet. I, I say, I, I will possibly look at getting on the server once I've tried it, seeing what it's like. If it's worth adding on. And if you can actually add it on, say if it's going to break the save game, there's no point. Uh, JG again saying, "Well, so we've got to get some rest. Good night. Well, good night to you. Thanks for stopping by the stream, and enjoy the rest of your week." Uh, Farmer group saying, "Lots of marshmallows, yeah." Uh, TC Agri saying, "Hi, Sim. Hey to you." See you in the chat again. And again, hope you're doing well. Uh, JG again saying good night stream. Uh, good night to you. Let Stevie uh, get these bells and then we'll carry on. So it's all looking like it's going to be another what, 50 odd bales there. Enough there for two load full loads. We're currently at 44 bales here now. Oh, it's gonna be close to 50. Probably not quite. Uh, the stream will probably be on for about another hour and 50 minutes at the most, I imagine. So yeah, still plenty of time. We've only what just over an hour and a half in, or an hour and forty minutes. Forty-nine bales total. <laughs> oh, you've missed one. Oh, is it? Oh, you, that counts in the one you've left. Oh, you got forty-eight. Yeah, that's the one I've left. Yeah. Yeah, two two twenty fours in it, and then one left. That's not bad though, is it for a small area? Almost empty, not.
and I'll speed up time a little bit. Get this rain pass. Might as well skip to the next month and then uh, see if there's anything that needs doing. We got dark quick. I'm sure, I missed a bit over here. That's close enough for me. They haven't. Uh, to fix the map. I wish they'd fix this as well. I really hate that it looks so messy around the edge of the fields where you got these bits of fertilizer where we've cut the grass previously. And it also shows as well where you mulch those areas. It looks messy. I find it weird how you go around that one bit of this map and it, the engine sounds disappear. Right, let's see if we can put this away. is not going there where I want it to go. Uh, TC Agra saying good news Sim. Oh, let me just slow time down a bit. Uh, good news Sim there, really good rumours around going around my local football club about me, nice. Um, uh, Makala saying hi, where are you from? I am from Worcestershire in the United Kingdom. got this in here last time. It wasn't easy but I managed to get it in okay. Now I'm struggling. Oh stop going the wrong way. Get this right in a minute. There we go. Almost, almost in. All right, I think that'll do for me. Get that out of the way for a little bit. Where are I? 
all, but I don't think there's much much we can do now, is there? Oh, you've got some wool for the spinnery. Yeah, other than forestry, there's not a lot we can do. So yeah. unless, we, unless we cut down a few logs and set up some logs and see, um, see if we can build a tailor shop. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking before we... Because uh, we've got 2,000 litres of water fabric ready to go. Might be worth just uh, selling a few logs, see if we can uh, get the money for that. Is this your front weight here? Um, uh, possi possibly, I'd say, yeah. I oh, know there's one over by the saw no one. I'll leave that one there for you. I've just got a feeling my uh, trailers are down at the store. Uh, yes, they are. Yeah, I thought they were. Just going to grab the trailers. I remember leaving them down there last time, or time before, whenever it was. Oh yeah, so we'll go and um, grab the log trailers, we'll head over to 22 and start clearing a few trees till we can get the uh, tailor shop, which I think we need about 8,000, no 100. And if we can get that built then we can start producing clothes. Which if you keep the closed pallets until uh, they have one of the highest price over a year you can make a decent amount of money from them. Which football club is that then, TC? I haven't, I haven't played football for years. I used to play, at one point, I, used, I was playing like four, four times a week. Doubt, doubt I'd manage five minutes these days. Are you on a smaller saying back for some time? Nice one, welcome back. Wow, those trees grew quick. Yeah, I'd say they're fully grown. Um, yeah. <laughs> you like only planted them like a few few episodes ago. <laughs> yeah, three three episodes ago. But like literally, I planted them in one stream, and the next time we come back into the stream, they were grown to 25 meters. Yeah. So I'd say now they, they do look fully grown now. Yeah, looking at the ones that have been there a while, they look the same height. So. 
I didn't expect them to be fully grown just yet. That's the magic of the server, I think. Uh, I'll start over here. Make more sense. Ooh. Yeah, chat's a bit quiet this evening. Well, less, well, probably about 40 less people than usually have as well. problem last time when I cut that one tree down it went flying halfway across the map. Seven meters when we okay, so we do these seven. And how much do we say? Three trees on each trailer, was it? Yeah, roughly, roughly three on each trailer, so nine, nine per lot. Yeah. Uh, FS19, FS22, which do you prefer? I prefer 22 uh, to a degree. <laughs> well, I found I enjoyed 19 more. As I mentioned earlier in the stream, I find 22 is a lot slower going. Seems like you have to put a lot lot more hours into a map to kind of progress to the same as you would on 19 in probably half the time. Uh, but I, I do prefer 22, I just I just think it needs a, some rebalancing. Uh, every update they keep saying they're coming out with an update. I'm really hoping they're going to make some changes to uh, improve on that, and they just don't seem to. It's what uh, grapes and olives and uh, poplars seem complete waste of time. How much time they take to do for what you make from them, they just don't seem worth bothering with. Uh, you're far better off using the land for other crops. Um, which to me kind of seems like, well, what's the point in putting them in the game if you're going to make them so not worth doing? Especially when most of the other crops seem to be fairly well balanced in, there's not, when it comes to like grain crops and stuff, they all yield slightly different and sell for different prices, but they all roughly work out that you make around about the same amount of money from them. But it just seems pointless investing all that money into like equipment to do poplars, grapes, olives when you make very little money from them. Uh, Johannes, nice long time question answered for me. Do they know count how many trees per trailer or just cutting and loading? <laughs> yeah, no, normally I I usually cut a certain amount of trees before I start loading. Uh, but you doing seven metre logs, it's, you get roughly around about three full trees on each trailer. So nine for the three trailers in total. You can probably squeeze on a, another tree across the three, so 10 in total. You could 
possibly push it to 11 if you like loaded them properly. But well, yeah, usually on the time lapse series, I usually cut a certain amount of trees and then I'll start loading just so I'm not doing a huge amount of trees in one go, then doing all loading. Uh, but sometimes I do get a bit carried away, don't cut too many. Uh, yeah, the pallet limit as well, which is um, I've discovered earlier today, which is a little bit annoying, especially when some of the um, production buildings have a very small storage area for pallets. So I'm hoping that's just um, the pallet limit was just intended solely for the console update and it's kind of got accidentally put on the um, the PC update because I can't see why they should be restricting PC players with a limit like that. Yeah, Blue Buzzard with the 1.4 update, there's no pallet limit. And I think it's 100 pallets and then you uh, no further pallets or spawn. Uh, you can't buy any further pallets from like um, including big bags as well. So seed fertilizer uh, big bags also count towards that pallet limit. Just dropped a tree onto the carpentry shop. Yeah, I, I discovered it earlier. I was loading pallets from the oil, oil mill and there was still 7,000 litres of sunflower oil in there. So I'd loaded up the first lot of pallets and I sat there waiting for the next lot to spawn and they didn't spawn. I'm like, okay. Um, so I tried moving the, um, moving the lorry, see if I was in the way, still didn't spawn. And then I went in double checking that there was actually some pallets waiting to spawn. And still nothing, sped up time a bit, still nothing. I'm like, what's a bit weird. And went up to the building, it said at the bottom of the info in the bottom corner, and no more space for pallets. I'm like, okay. Um, so I had to go and sell some to get them, the rest of the ones to spawn out of the building. Uh, Schlick, thank you very much for the subscription. Yeah, so what I've done on my no man's land at the moment, and until the hot fix, whether they they have to remove that or not, I've set the the honey pallets um, spawn thing to automatic sell because uh, that produces quite a lot of pallets, and also the sawmill with the planks, I've set that to um, auto sell as well, just so I don't. Um, gives me more space then for the other production buildings for uh, pallets because the pallets, uh, the planks are getting like 16, 17 pallets very quickly from that, from the sawmill. If I had the money to buy a new tractor, I'd buy a new tractor. So it's saying, yeah, it's time to buy in this. So many comments saying, oh, you need to buy this, you need to buy that. But like, what money? <laughs> I don't have the money to buy it, or I would.
We're up to 60,000, so we need another 40, which should be two loads. The logs should give us enough. Oh, come on, you're not going to cut that, are you? <laughs> go on, go in both trees, but not the one I want. Let's try it this way. Oh, let's move that out of the way. This one next, but we'll cut it the other way. Uh, Shlick saying, "What a feeling to see a time lapse live, not sped up times." Then, yeah, it's not it's not the same um, save game as the time lapse series. It's completely separate, just for the live streams. But yeah, it does make a difference if you've only ever seen the time lapse to actually uh, see it in real time. Hey, did you know the difference between spruce one and spruce two in the trees? I have no idea. I've just used spruce one. I haven't used spruce two to see what the difference is. If anybody does know, then please let me know in the chat because I've no idea myself. Uh, Jack's mod saying, hey, hey to you. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I did, I did wonder myself what the difference was between Spruce 1 and Spruce 2, but I said I've not tried uh, Spruce 2. Spruce 1 seems to be normal. Well, yeah, I can't, can't say what Spruce 2 is because I've not tried it. Count now, I'm in trees, of course. Two, three, four. In turn one. Six. Four about seven, I think. Keep, keep going, we have six feathers to fill. <laughs> <laughs> Hope it grows a little faster. I say I have no idea. These ones on here have grown fairly quick. Um, I, I've had spruce trees that have seemed to grow, fully grow within like nine months in game. And then other times they seem to have taken a bit longer. Yeah, you can see time lapse version through Stevie's channel. For anyone that's interested, I will try and see if I can get Cloudbot to work to uh, put the link into Stevie's channel. Uh, there is also a link in the description as well. Yeah, so there's the link to Stevie 4K Gaming. So it's Stevie's channel if you want to watch the time lapse version of this live stream and all the past live streams as well. And head over to his channel, give him a sub. Yeah, it works for a change. <laughs> I don't know why sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But it seems to be working at the moment, so. So 
we're coming up what 25 to 9 10 I mean so yeah we should get enough to get the um, the tailor shop get that built and then we'll probably skip through to uh, the next month just check the animals first uh, have you got any more gardening planned for tomorrow tomorrow um, Possibly may try and get out for an hour or two in the uh, afternoon. Still need to finish clearing up the area where I want to get this uh, apple tree planted. I got a couple of hours um, this afternoon. Most of that was spent going around watering all the container plants because it's been quite hot again today. Um, Rory Height saying, I just built my PC, console player coming for PC. What is a safe place for mods? Um, safest place is on the in game downloadable content section. Um, as for recommending any other sites, I hope personally there isn't really many I would personally recommend, unless you know what you're doing. Uh, yes, mods used to be quite good, but I don't don't know if they're doing mods for FS22. Um, but even then, some of the links that they use on there which is the official link for mod creators uh, the mods mod creators host their mods on some dodgy sharing sites so even then even though it's a good site where you get original links you can still run into problems if you uh, don't know what you're doing so it's difficult to recommend any other sites to be honest Simple safe mods. I've not actually tried simple safe mods myself yet. I've got a few from King Mods, um, but again, some of the mods on there they're linked to dodgy sites, like dodgy hosting sites. this one down and then we'll uh, start helping Stevie load up. Herman saying hello, hey to you. Average saying guys someone from France here. I'm probably sure there will, will be uh, but don't recall anybody seeing anybody this evening uh, but usually I have a few people from France in. Uh, Joe saying I've got a couple of mods uh, couple from FS22 mods I think it's called. I, I avoid any any website that um, re-uploads mods off the official mod hub with different links um, via bot so then I won't use that at all. Chainsaw. I wish they'd have fixed the issue with the chainsaw. It'll stop working every now and then. I'm sure there was loads of people that actually uh, submitted a ticket for that problem. Well, like update 1.4 now, and they still haven't actually uh, done anything about that one.
going to move this bit closer now. Yeah, modding Velt has some good mods on there. Uh, there's another one, LS Farming. Uh, what was the other one I used to use? I can't think what it was called. Uh, there was another one that was good for um, 19 mods. They had some good mods on there. I can't remember what it was called. Uh, what's the name of the mod uh, for log length? Measure. Uh, it, I don't know if it's still on the mod hub, uh, but it was on the in-game mod hub called Measure. Uh, but for some reason, the icon doesn't show for mine now. Logs. Yeah, that one's measure for the. Um, I think there is another one on on the mod hub as well that uh, works slightly different way, but it did show you the exact length of the, um, the logs you was looking at. Uh, but I can't remember what that one's called. It's longer than me log for. I seem to be struggling to pick that one up. What's wrong with this one? This one doesn't want to get picked up. Oh, there we go. I'm just going to pile these small bits up out of the way for now. I'll come back for those later. I'll just chuck those into the sawmill to uh, top that up a bit. Seems like they've changed my log for. seem to grip the logs as well as it used to. Leave that all, they've changed the collision on these logs. Uh, Ryan, how do I start forestry? Um, with a chainsaw? Buy a chainsaw in the uh, the menu and start cutting trees down on land your own. Is the easiest way, and then get a tractor with a front loader, log grab, and a trailer to load them onto. Uh, I have FS19 measure. Uh, gives you yellow numbers in the bottom of the screen, it's annoying. Uh, yeah, that's why I never used the measure in 19 because I didn't like the fact it put the, uh, the measurement on the middle of the screen, the one I used to have. Uh, but this one works a little bit different, you have to have the help menu open, which is the only downside. Uh, but yeah, you don't get those annoying yellow numbers on the screen. So the one I got was on the mod hub. Um, I can't see why it wouldn't still be on there. So if you go on the mod hub and search measure, you should find it.
And if you're starting out, these um, HW180 trailers, the Fortress from Modhub as well, are probably some of the best logging trailers you can get for a tractor. Nice and cheap, get a decent amount on as well, can link up as many as you can possibly pull. I think the most I got was four, I think. Never mind you found it, no worries. Uh, Mario, and we've got a new forklift. Yeah, the little forklift in the 1.4 update, which I haven't actually looked at yet, to be honest. That little tiny little thing, it looks, it looks very, 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 very small. That's proper, a proper warehouse for cliff truck that isn't it, like very tight spaces. I haven't actually tried any of the four cliff trucks in uh, 22 yet. Just saying, I found some factory mods that have been sped up, but sped up way too much long. Yeah, that's what I sometimes I dislike about some mods is when they make them a bit too overpowered. It's like you get some of these mods now, like the um, some factory mods you can get that are out there where they've got in increased production rates, but they've produced like about 20 times more pallets in one month. Um, for not much more product and it's like it's a little bit too much as a few people and I'll mention myself I think it'd be nice if you could just upgrade the current production buildings a little bit so once you've placed it down you get the option to um, Have the option to actually like upgrade the production amount uh, for a fee. Eric Park saying it's weird seeing you playing this in real time, long. Uh, Mario saying hi. Only for problem with pallet and factory after the last update. Uh, there is a. a uh, pallets limit now on the game after the last update so if you're having uh, problems with pallets not spawning it may be you've reached the limit and no more can spawn until you've actually sold some now if you've got the um, info window enabled so when you go to your building in the bottom right hand corner if you've got that menu showing it, if you can't spawn any more pallets, it comes up in blue at the bottom saying no more space for pallets. So go over to your building and check that. If that's showing, then you need to sell some pallets before any more will spawn. Oh, did I actually cut this log up? Or did I run off? I think I've run off before I cut it up. Come on, chainsaw. Uh, Joe said I'm going to go now, Sim. Have a good week, you too. Yeah, and you. Uh, thanks for stopping by again.
do, I do like the fact that they added the uh, falling tree sound there. That's one thing that was missing from the previous versions. So cutting trees down and there was just no sound whatsoever. Uh, thank you, Sim, for an idea what to do in FS22. No worries. Hello, hello. Uh, Davis Farming saying here again. Well, welcome back. Oh, come on. Or there, thereabouts. So that's another three. Steve's got one there, four. We need about another five to fill yours up. Yeah, roughly enough. Uh, Eric Park wasn't there a modern FS um, in FS 2019 with the fallen tree sounds. I don't know. Uh, possibly, but I don't remember one. Well, not one I've come across myself or used. TC, I think he added it when he was editing Eric. Uh, possibly, yeah. If he's um, doing it for su survival roleplay or something, there's, um, I think on epidemic sounds, there's some uh, sound effects for trees falling and stuff. Uh, no, stump grinder we're using the lumberjack mod so we can cut the tree stumps with the uh, chainsaw. Uh, try and see which is the best one to go for. Go for this one. Yeah, lumberjack mod if you're on PC, it's on the in-game mod hub. Unfortunately, it's not on console though. If you're on console, uh, the only way to get rid of them is with a uh, stump grinder. A lumberjack mod also allows you to cut trees down that aren't on your land. So you can cut trees down even if you don't own the land. console. <laughs> uh, TC Oak saying bye Simo, good week and you too, uh, thanks for stopping by the stream. Uh, it won't be long till the next one because we've been doing Friday uh, for the next stream this week because we can't do Saturday because Stevie's uh, partying. Are you looking forward to it Stevie? Well, can you get sense the excitement in my voice? Yeah. Sounds so enthusiastic. Uh, Dakota Ziegler saying hello, hey to you. Hope you're well and welcome to the stream.
Um, may I say that I have several factories and no more space on pallet. I don't want to sell at the lowest price. Yeah, that's the uh, one of the, the annoying things with the uh, the update. Uh, the only thing you could try is getting the pallet warehouse mod that just stores pallets and put your pallets in there to store them. So they're off the map and that may then allow you to get more to spawn out the uh, cell point uh, production buildings. What have you missed? Uh, we, oops. We did some grass cutting silage, baling silage, or baling grass for silage. And then we've just been doing a bit of forestry for the last what, half hour or so. So we're just at the moment trying to get the rest of the money to buy the tailor shop. So we need another 40, well just under 40,000 in total. And it's been pretty much raining and thundering <laughs> for eight seeds, look, forever. quite interesting to hear because there's not often I play with the sounds on an FS. Normally when I'm recording I don't have the game sounds on. So I never hear these uh, weather effects very often. And rocking a bit of Swift 7. Uh, Ah, uh, cutting down the tree. Yeah, that's all we've pretty much done then since we finished the silage. I fertilised the grass field after that and then we come over here to uh, start doing some forestry. So we're just going to try and fill up Stevie's set of trailers and then we'll head down to the... Uh, oh, oh, wherever's got the best price for wood currently. Hopefully we'll get enough then to get the tailor shop built so we can start getting some uh, clothes production and then we'll see what else we can do then before we finish up. So I don't know where we'll put the tailor shop. Maybe, I was going to say next to that shop we built earlier, but I don't know if we'll have the space on the land we own there to fit. Fit it next to that. Uh, So have a look once we've uh, got the money see where we can actually put it I may take that shop that little cell point out that we put in earlier and put the tailor shop there instead and then build the cell point again uh, another time all my log forks have glitched out I've gone backwards I will be soon, I'm going to give the um, FDR logging stuff a go soon. Uh, 
uh, try and get all the setting dialed in for those so I can start using that stuff on the new map. I may get some on the no man's land as well at some point. need to cut down a couple more trees possibly one more oh, that one looks a little bit long I think I may have cut that one the wrong length <laughs> it definitely didn't look seven meters yeah that's definitely not seven meters I got a bit distracted when I cut that one. <laughs> Looks more like about 12. Let me see how long it actually is. 10 meters. when we're reversing. That was my driving test for that one. It's okay, I didn't look over. <laughs> Is that the last one you've got there? Uh, yeah. I might need one more tree then. Reverse and beepers on beep beep beep. We might need a couple more trees. We still have one empty trailer. Yeah, I'll cut down a couple more. Seems like we cut, cut more than enough there, but obviously not. Uh, make sure I actually cut these ones the right length. On so the back of your trailers, you've got two that are overhanging for an extra two meters. That's okay, we don't mind. Uh, 21, all right. Close enough. 28. Uh, Clayton's back, had to do paperwork, no worries, welcome back. Not miss much. Soon we forestry. We 
remember to do seven meters. Seven fourteen. Twenty-one and twenty-eight is what we want. that uh, probably one more will do So uh, Clayton, I don't like paperwork because it's boring, but I have to do it. Uh, one of the downsides to some jobs, paperwork. That's one ton. All right. At fourteen. about right. Just trying to work out the weights. Total trees 2.2 .2, but then when you cut it off it that first piece is one ton on its own. It's like half the weight of the tree just in that first seven meter piece. Dave is saying I'm playing on my tablet while watching you, so listening and playing on tablet, no worries. Something I often do myself is listen more than watch. I'm not to myself anyway. That'd be a bit weird. Watching back one of my streams, listening to myself while doing other things. Yeah. That's not something I do. Uh, you want to see me? Have you ever tried to start a survival series other than with forestry, e.g., Greenlands? Um, that's pretty much what um, the old stream farm was going to be: was starting off with no equipment, no land, um, but relying on contracts and not really doing forestry. you got the right map to do it you can do it but with FS22 as I said before it just feels like it's far too much of a grind to make any progress doing it that way um, but even now with forestry being nerfed so much as it has I think even starting a survival series with forestry isn't going to be as easy as it was I think I was making around about 60,000 with the four trailers on no man's land so I could easily, well I say easily, it took quite a while to cut enough trees down to fill up um, eight lots of tra trailers 
so it wasn't as if he was making money really fast uh, but you could a couple of hours make 120,000 off forestry fairly quick now you probably make about 40,000, 50,000 at most from the same amount In the lint track one for I never used it or at least if I did use it I don't remember using it is the lint track the one that's got all wheel steer You want to say, yeah, I noticed the big difference between log prices. Uh, to start with, I think that was pretty much the same. It's only since the 1.3 update when they uh, severely lowered the price. Oh, where are we? Wood, 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 wood. So, current best price is. Farm shop, not much in it though. Eight, eight, eight pound difference per thousand meters. So that closed then. I was going to lease the Lint Lin Track 130 and experience it one day. Yeah, go ahead, try it. I can't remember it. I think I remember using a Lint there in. FS17. Can't remember if I use one in 19 or not. Always worth giving it a go because you never know what something's like until you try it. Uh, the old stream farm I kind of started when I really shouldn't have done. My head wasn't in the right place when I started it and uh, kind of wasn't enjoying FS22 in general at that time so I kind of had a reduction event which I was playing it and just focused on no man's land uh, with the intention I was gonna go back to it but then in the end I just never got to a point where I really felt like playing it again so unfortunately it kind of just uh, got left behind Uh, but I'm looking to start a new series soon on a new map because I want a complete fresh start on something else. Uh, see how that goes. Over. Nearly lost it right at the end. Nearly, nearly lost it coming into the store then. Well, now I'll, oh, there we go. 23,000 for that. I'll just get this 
this last little bit. Oh, 10,000 for that, so what's that? 33,000. So we're only 6,000 short, so we'll have plenty. Uh, one thing we haven't done as well is check the uh, used equipment. Although, well, not that I actually buy much from used equipment these days. It always like, seems a good deal for some stuff, but then for uh, other stuff, you look at how many hours it's already got on it, um, what the uh, repair costs and maintenance costs are going to be. It's going to look, yeah, it's not quite such a good deal. So it's 128,515. We're we'll going to take these back over the sawmill and we'll have a look see where we can fit this tire shop in. The trouble is we don't... That's what land we own. Yeah, so just find somewhere we can... I know technically we don't have to own the, own the land, we could actually put it anywhere we want. So it could possibly squeeze in next to that uh, cell point, even though it won't technically be on our land. Uh, Greenlands, uh, not familiar with Greenlands. I've seen it on Mod Hub, but I've not actually uh, looked at it. Let's go and see if we can fit this uh, tire shopping down here. Uh, what is the best crop in my opinion? I think when it comes to general crops like wheat, barley, sunflowers and stuff like that, they're all fairly well balanced. I don't think there is out of those a particular crop that's overly better than any of the others. Uh, sugar beets and potatoes can be quite profitable, but obviously take a lot to uh, a lot of work to harvest. Actually, looking at where that is, I think we own. This space here, so we could possibly get it next to this. Have a look. All right. uh, before we do that, though, what I'm going to do is what I said before. I want to move this back because <laughs> really don't like how it's too close to the road there. So we'll cut a few of these trees back so we can move that back a bit. It's only cost a thousand to play, so we're not going to lose it much money from that. At least I'll get it more and more because if I don't do it now I'll end up doing it off stream anyway before the next one. So I'm not quite happy with where it is. Uh, can, can we speed up time Sam until say roughly four o'clock in game our size bales are nearly uh nearly fermented. Uh, yeah. They're kind of 96, 98%. Yeah, just let me know. Um... Oh, I'll slow back down. I think that should do us. Let's 
get rid of that. I'll just hang okay, on. Okay, we're good now. As I just uh, slow the time back down. This is where I really wish there was a move tool, so you could just move buildings. First thing we'll do is get rid of this grass. No, get rid of the grass. Jesse, how are you? Good to see you in the chat again. Okay, yeah, I've only gotten on the stream and I missed the last stream. So just getting updates and also new dog name Max. Well, not how we've chewed up my two carpets. Ooh, sounds bad, but can't beat getting a new puppy. Well, yeah, good to see you in the chat again. I hope you're well, other than uh, you had damage to your carpets. Okay, the Lean Lean track is 5,523 to lease and one day, 1,000, that's a good deal. I had no idea if that's a good deal. Personally, I don't lease tractors because they tend to cost quite a lot of money. But if you're only trying it out for one day, then that's not too bad. Um, I don't want to come too far back, but also obviously need to come far, far enough back. It makes a difference. I think they should do. Get rid of that fence. I'll move these as well. do is bring that out there and move the road over slightly it's a little bit more space as well I've well, just messed that bit up Uh, Max is a friend. Is that like a rescue dog? French massive noise. Uh, Sim, did you add the mod list from all LPs this game? Did you add in the mod list from all Let's Plays this game? No. Um, Not, the mod list hasn't got all mods in, um, it needs updating, which I'll try and do soon. Uh, it's got, most of the mods are on there, like the main ones, but I think there's still quite a few missing. to this narrow that little bit we don't need it quite as wide as we had it before
Oh, does that look a bit uneven? Still looks uneven to me. That's a bit better. a little bit better anyway. So what I'm going to do is uh, what that'll do and then we'll put a strip of grass across kind of level with that one if we can. So I say, this paint tool never goes where I want it to when I'm doing this. And that should be wide enough. And we'll tidy up this end. a little bit more it looks a little bit uneven now I'll tidy up the, uh, the surround of this a bit Sandy couldn't start calms them. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to get back to calms them, but um, I was try tried to get back to calms them yesterday, but when I went on, I couldn't get it to load after the update. Um, uh, so I spent probably about an hour trying to work out which mods were causing the problem. Um, in the end, I just disabled every single mod, and the save game still wouldn't. Uh, load up for calms and so I'll give up in the end. I don't... I think I might leave the fence off and, and get that one I want with the barriers which I don't think I have on here. Just double check though. don't think I've got it installed so I'll try and get that one enabled next time and we'll get some uh, get some of those on here so I'll just put the uh, little flower pot back we had last time and we'll put one here as well See if we can get this to work again. Right, this time we'll put one center point there. And there. Can't see it all from both angles at the same time. You look like you're in the right place one way and then you look the other way and it's like nowhere near where you want it to be. Well, that's a little bit better. You're gonna have to move the other one though because that's way off as well. Uh, 
not perfect, but it'll do. It's about as good as I'm going to get it at the moment. Let's see what else we've got. We've already got ice cream thing there. Or postcard rack. Put a bin in. Right, that's enough of that. Uh, what we want? Tailor shop. Factories. We'll have a look at some of these as well, so we can do some different stuff. I've not actually tried any of these production mods yet. So it'll be interesting to give those a go. Uh, but for now, we'll just get the tailor shop if I can find it. I've lost it again. There it is. Is that it? Yeah. Still gets me why they show the back of the building on the, um, the mod picture there. So I can never find it, I'm always looking for it looking like that at the front and it doesn't. I'll just line that up a bit, I'll bring this over a bit further. Before we uh, do any more, I want to just switch the production on this. There's the... Uh... Oh, don't want to change clothes. Where's the icon for this thing? Oh, there we go. Uh, that should be on distributing, yes. Uh, so we'll switch that on. So that should start getting some uh, fabric sent from there. I don't think there's any pallets spawned, is there? No. I think I set it to uh, distributing straight away, so it should automatically distribute to that now. Uh, Sim, self-locking grids in build mode would be nice, especially for console. My big clumsy thumbs off and mess up placing. Yeah, it's annoying when you're doing the camera, because you go to rotate the camera, then it moves like the position you've got it one way, so it kind of like, it makes it difficult to see exactly where you've got it from different angles when you're rotating because it then moves all over the place. Um, there was a, a mod released on Mod Hub recently which was like a building snap mode. Uh, but I think that more snaps the building rotation to set degrees like 5, 10, 15 degrees. Um, I don't think, I don't know if it snaps it onto a grid as well. Now the good thing about that though is you, you can snap it to a set degree if you build want to put everything in a completely straight line you know you can get it roughly the, the same but I don't know if it's one of those where it it's always snaps between degrees of rotation because there were some mods on 19 that had a fixed degree of rotation but they used to take forever to rotate because it was like five degrees at a time especially if you wanted to go like, turn it all the way around. I think we'll copy the same thing here, we'll continue that strip of grass across in front of, <coughs> excuse me, in front of this one as well. Uh, 
I also want to try and Well, the pallets spawn there, which I always find is a really awkward place. <laughs> Especially if you're man manually loading, you want to pick the pallets up and then load them onto a trailer. Ideally, the trailer would be parked there, this side, so you can just pick up the pallets, reverse, and then onto the trailer. I'm uh, just trying to think, if you're driving in with a trailer that way, you want to probably have a bit more space up there to turn in. That's my thinking anyway. I don't like how I've placed the uh, tailor shop on uh, the No Man's Land time-lapse series. I may have a play around with it and uh, change it at some point because it's a little bit awkward to uh, get the pallets. I'm going to try and make it this time a little bit easier to uh, do. There's the same on Elm Creek as well, it's always awkward to try and, I, I literally have to park the tractor right up against the fence mm. to get in a good position to load up the pallets. And the bakery, I don't know who designed the bakery on Elm Creek, but man, that was awful. There was literally nowhere to park to load up the pallets in a decent place. Mm. The bakery on um, Hoe Baylor on Spawn, pallet spawn point wasn't much better. It's like at the end of the day, it's a game. I don't want to spend 20, 25 minutes messing around in awkward pallet positions. I just want to get in, load pallets up and get out. I've got better things to do. Oh, that should be plenty of space there. Uh, paint it. Probably do with this one is have that grass strip a little bit wider. I don't think it needs to be as much space in front of this. And then we'll narrow this bound. Don't need quite such a wide driveway. Come back over one more. Uh, possibly. No, we'll leave that as it was because that's going to be a bit too narrow that side then. button. Alright, that didn't look too bad. Decoration, then we'll just put some some of that small hedge in front of it. I'll go with a, uh, a really small one. I 
So that one I'll sort out for next time. But it's not too bad. So I could spend hours doing this. As in car parks in more trees, plants, bushes. Where are we now? Quarter two. So yeah, we ain't going to probably get much time to do anything else now. So I'll probably finish this off and then we'll uh, call it quits. So we'll put a couple of these in. Uh, what else we got? I need to get that over decorations mod, so there's a lot more stuff in there that would be better to use. Yeah, I think we'll uh, leave it at that for, uh, for now. I'll finish this off next time. I'll get some more mods installed and then we can uh, add a few more details around it. Finish off doing the hedging around the uh, edges as well once I've got that finalised. That's the tailors that built anyway. Uh, new cell point and the spinner we built last time. Uh, Sebastian saying hello everyone, hey to you, hope you will. I can sort this road out as well. So we'll head back to the farm and we'll start wrapping up because I'm uh, starting to get a bit tired now. Uh, how much have you done silage bales? You got more left to sell? Or have you done them all? Uh, I sold all 46, so they're just the ones from today now when they ferment. Yeah, how long did that? That probably won't be for another couple of months or uh, I'd say November, I'd say. Yeah, I'd say September, October, November, yeah. Um, Eduardo, Levi, thank you very much for the subscription. That uh, looks pretty. Yeah, I, I want to add more to it though. Still think it's missing some stuff. <laughs> but I, I need to get those other mods in so I can go through and uh, add a little bit more to it. Where did you put those other silage bales? Oh, there they are, so I can see them. So 55% they are, so they'll be ready to sell at some point next time. I will probably have to mix up some um, TMR. I would probably... Oh, that's done. You've done it. Yeah, oh, I'm nice two loads. I'm going to give them water now, so. Ah, nice one, nice one. Um, I'll say we'll probably buy another 25 cows as well next time takes up to 50 although actually reproduction these are probably double what we've got next time anyway we should be up to 50 anyway as they're running 90 percent so stevie's done everything he's been top man again he's on the ball <laughs> Yeah, we need to discuss a pay rise. I'm thinking <laughs> I uh, fent 10.50. I fent 10.50. Well, we, I don't think it'll be long before we can afford a uh, new tractor. And we've got 109 grand now. We've got all the crops to sell, more silage bales to sell. We've got the tailor shop now, so we don't need to buy that. We've got loads of eggs. I mean, well, if we hold on to these eggs when they're at the highest price we'll have a fortune from them yeah they'll be highest price in uh, November I think I think for um, wool uh, we've got plenty of wool in the spinnery so I think the next time we get a, a decent amount of wool we could probably sell some of that as well 
crops should be ready to sell within the next couple of months and we've got 102,000 litres of barley. We won't sell all that because obviously we'll keep some for the chickens but we don't need to keep a huge amount because uh, it's only going to be uh, when's barley usually June, July we can harvest that. So it's not going to be long before we can actually harvest any more barley. So we'll be able to sell a good portion of the barley. We've got 56,000 litres of oats we can sell, 58,000 litres of canola and then the 60,000 litres of sorghum as well. So that should bring in a good few hundred thousand. Uh, milk. Again, we'll probably have another load of milk to sell. Uh, we've got the lettuce, eggs, uh, we've got more planks, furniture, we'll have some cloves as well. So I, I think we'll uh, more than have enough soon to uh, get a new tractor. I don't know how much is a Fent 1050. 329,000 for the 1000 series. How much is the actual 1050 though? 36, I, I always like this because it's for a 517 horsepower tractor. It always seems reasonably priced as well. But if you can't have the front loader. Yeah, that is what the one downside. No front loader. Good thing we got little Massey. Yeah, we've still got the little Massey. Well, yours is currently worth 47,000. Probably get 50 odd if we sold it at the store. Um, you could always go for a. Uh, I don't think you can get front loader on the 900, can you? Yeah, you'd have to use front loader for the little Massey. I think the 8S, like what you have, is uh, the most uh, horsepower tractor that can have a front loader. Uh, I think you can get a 7R, I don't know if the in-game 7R can have a front loader. And there's a modded 7R that you can have a front loader. Oh yes, 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 we should add that. Yeah, add you can get a front loader on the 7R. But you can't have the three point linkage with the front loader. So you'd have to keep swapping it. I'm sure we get over that. Um, that's 305 standard, 388 horsepower with front loader. Don't think the Axion can, no. Uh, there was a modded ATAR that had a front loader on. I think that was on 19. Uh, there's the class um, tractors pack on Modhub that can have loaders even on the, the one with the terror tracks. Yeah. Yeah, I think the 7R is looking the base game stuff anyway that you can get a front loader. Oh, I can't get one on that. <laughs> That'd be a beast of a tractor though with a front loader. It's like that um, that quad track that's got the front loader on. It looks absolutely immense. <laughs> it's like <laughs> crazy thing. Yeah, well, anyway, we'll, uh, I don't know if it'll be the next stream, we'll look for a new, uh, for a new tractor, possibly the one after that, we'll see how we go. So, um, thank you for everyone that's, uh, stopped by to watch the stream, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then please don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, big thank you to you, Stevie, for coming on to help out again. No problem, glad I can help. Uh, when's your video going to be out? Uh, Saturday, I'd say chance there, it could be Saturday for this stream and Sunday probably for Friday night stream. Yeah, so if you want to watch the uh, the stream in time-lapse form, so condensed, was it about 15-20 minutes? Uh, about 20-25 minutes. Like 20-25 minutes. <laughs> so a condensed stream, then uh, check out Stevie's channel. I will put another link in the chat, if it works again. 
Uh, there's also a link in the video description to Stevie's channel, so go and check that out and give him a subscription as well. And uh, yeah, I was going to say uh, a big thank you to Nitrido, but I can't thank them. <laughs> we are not using the Nitrido server, so at the moment I can't recommend them. But I didn't say that. <laughs> but yeah, the next stream, Friday night, um, I'll probably be won't be on the server then either I'll probably just stick with this for now until I know it's properly working and um, so yeah Friday so only two days and we'll be back so no Saturday stream this week um, I'll set the stream up tomorrow so that will be up ahead of time and I'll probably pull a reminder up on a Friday Friday afternoon for that so instead there'll be a time-lapse video on Saturday Sunday and then I'll possibly be back again Wednesday next week if you're about Stevie. Yeah, no problem. I just sweet talk to life into letting me come upstairs for a few hours again, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then uh, it'd probably be just back to Saturdays from then, uh, but we'll see. So, yeah, big thank you to everyone for watching again and uh, enjoy the rest of your week. We'll see you Friday, hopefully. So, take care and goodbye.